Hi everyone, welcome back to the last video. We're going to be doing challenge problems for this. Challenge problem including pretty much combination circuits, but making it seem a little bit more confusing. Alright, so if you guys can do this, you guys should be uh, good for the rest of the chapters when it comes to the circuits. So let's look at this diagram here. We have a bunch of empty slots. These squigglies here are represent the resistance. So we kind of, we want to look at this, see what we know, and then be able to fill out the rest. So this might be a bit confusing. However, there are some things that we should know. Uh, so since the current splits off right here, that means these two are in parallel with each other. Since these two resistors share the same current, that means they are in series with one another. So if we know that this is 10 amps, that means that we also know that this one is going to be 10 amps. Yeah. Because they again, they share the same uh, electrons that flow through it, the same current, they're going to have the same amps. And now that we know two pieces of information, we can find what this third piece is. So we have 2 and 10, V equals IR, so this is going to be 20 volts. And over here, this is going to be 3 times 10, so this is going to be 30 volts. Now... What we should know is this is a this is battery has a total of 120 volts. So what that means is everything here should add up to 120. So if we have 20 volts here, 30 volts here, there should be 70 volts remaining. Since these two are in parallel with each other, we should know they should have the same voltage and they'll have the same voltage of 70 volts. Okay, it's going to be pushing the electrons here to here, and it's going to be 70 volts. Now that we know that, we have the V here and the I here, we have v, uh, v and I, now we can find what these two R's are. So if this is 7, this is 7, that means this has to be 10 ohms. If this is 70, this is 3. Ooh, let me just do 70 divided by 3 real quick. And I get 23.33 ohms. 23.33 ohms, okay? So again, the quickest thing to know is just try to gather your information and see what you know. When they're in series with each other, they share what the current is. When they're in parallel with each other, they share what their voltage is. Um, hmm, anything else you know? Whenever it splits off like that, that means they're in parallel. Whenever they're in the they're sharing the current, that means they're in series. Okay. And if you get one, everything else starts to make sense. All right, now let's look at this one. Find the total resistance of the battery uh, when we're looking at this. Okay, so when we're looking at this, it's kind of, it might be confusing. Okay, what's in parallel and what's in series? Again, what you want to know is where is this going to be sharing the current and where is the current going to be splitting off? So I want you to primarily look at the junctions here. When you're looking at the junctions, oops. I want you to think, okay, so where is the current being shared and where is this splitting off? And what you should see is there should be pretty much two, uh, one spot where it's being split off. The current is getting split off here and it's going into these two junctions here. So if the current is the same throughout this entire wire, that means these three resistors are in parallel with this right here. I'm going to draw it a different way, which might make, give, uh, make it more clear for you. So this is 100... Uh, and 20 volts, it shows in part B. And then what we know is it's going to look like one like that. And there's another one here. It's going to be one, two, three. Okay. And then it comes back like this. So it's this wire here is the same as coming over here, and then it splits off. This is the 1 over here, so this is 30 ohms, that's the R4. And then this is going to be 10, 15, and 20. Okay, so that's another way of looking at it, which makes it look simpler. Okay, so now to find total resistance, let's just try to simplify this more. I'm just going to simplify this one up there. So I'm going to do 120 volts, and then doom, 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 doom. Then this is going to be 30 ohms, and then this over here. This is going to be 20 plus 15, 35, and then 45 ohms. Okay, and then this is connected. Now to find what the total is, what we're just going to do is we're going to do 1 over R tote. 
is equal to 1 over 45 plus 1 over 30. And then we should be able to find the R total doing the inverse. So I'm going to do 1 divided by 45 plus 1 divided by 30 and the inverse of that and we get 18 ohms. Bum, 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 18 ohms. So that is part A. Okay. If the voltage of the battery is 120 volts, what is the current through the battery? Okay, so again, now we now that we found the R total, the current through the battery should be pretty easy. So we're just going to do V total is equal to the current total times the resistance total. V total is 120. The current total is what we're looking for. Resistance total is 18. So now we can find what the current total is. 120 divided by 18 and we get 6.67, 6.67 amps. What is the current through R4? Okay, so now this is start. This is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. We wanna know what the current is through this one here. Okay, so what we should know is since this is in parallel with this, they're gonna both have this, they're gonna both share the same voltage. So from here to here, they're going to have the same drop in voltage. So the drop in voltage, since there's no other resistance here or here, is going to be 120 volts. Okay? So that means this is going to be a 120 volt drop, and over here, this is going to be a 120 volt drop. So if we know that, what we can do, and let me split this off a little bit for part C, I can say that V3 is equal to I3 R3. V3, as we said, is 120. I3 is what we're looking for. Oh, sorry, uh, V4. I just said 3 because I saw 30. I4. I4 is what we're looking for, and R4 is 30. And then I4 is going to be equal to 4 amps. Okay. Now that we know this is 4 amps, and we know that the total current is two uh, is 6.67, we should know if 4 amps is going this way, over here there's going to be 2.67 amps going that way. And that should make sense because, again, there's more resistance over here than over here. So if we know that 2.67 is going through all of these, now if we're trying to find what the voltage is across R2, we know that this current here is 2.67 amps. And now we can find the voltage doing V equals IR. So I'm going to do V2 is equal to I2 over R2. V2, uh, I2 is going to be equal to 2.67. R2 is 15. Okay. 2.67 times 15. 2 point, uh, 15 is going to be 40.05. 0.05 volts. Okay. And what we should know is again, from here to here is 120 volts. So each of these, if we were to add up all the change in voltage, this is going to be adding up to 120. So if this one is 40, that means these two are going to be equal to a combination of 80. Okay. All right. Let's look at our last one. Okay. So if we're looking at our last one here, what is the total resistance? Uh, if the voltage of the battery is 12 volts, what is the current through the closed uh, battery when the switch is closed? What is the current through R1? What is the voltage across R4? So total resistance. Again, what we want to do is whenever it splits off, that means that they are in parallel. So this current is splitting off into three directions here, and we're going to do that. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to simplify the one on the top here and the one at the bottom. So it's going to look something like this. Whoa, wow. Pretty bad. Okay, let me start over. And then we're going to have one going straight down the middle. This is going to be 12 ohms. And then we're going to have one going down here. We're going to simplify that. So this one simplifies 10 plus 14. So this is going to be 24 ohms. And the last one, we're going to simplify as well. 12, 20 plus 16, and that's going to be 36 ohms. Okay? And then we're going to have this to be a closed switch. 
Okay, so what is the total resistance? Now we have to just do 1 over our total is equal to 1 over 36 plus 1 over 12 plus 1 over 24. Okay, so I think they made this pretty simple for us to do it without a calculator, but I will do it with one. Plus 1 divided by 24, inverse of that, and we get 6.55. So our total is equal to 6.55 ohms. Okay, if the voltage of the battery is 12 volts, okay, so this is 12 volts. What is the current through the battery when the switch is closed? Okay, so now that we found the R total, again, it's going to be a pretty simple. V total is equal to the current total times resistance total. 12 is equal to the current uh, total, which we're looking for, 6.55. And now we can find what the current total is. 12 divided by 6.55 and get 1.83 amps. Okay. What is the current through R1? Okay, so now we're looking for what the current is through R1. Okay, hmm, a few ways to do this one. Um, so again, what we should know is since we simplified over here, the change in voltage from this point, oops, sorry, this point right here, sorry again, this point right here, ah, what's going on? This part right here to this point right here is going to be 12 volts. So that means each of these are going to be 12 volts. So we know the voltage here is equal to 12. So if this is going to be equal to the resistance 36, that means the current is going to be one third of that or 0.33. So um, I know that the current at the top here, V equals IR, V equals 12, R equals 36. So this is going to be 0.33 amps. So throughout this whole wire here, it's going to be 0.33 amps. Boom, boom. Oops. So what is the voltage across R4? Uh, what is the voltage across R4? Again, so we know that throughout this whole thing, it's going to be 12 volts. However, these are in series. So we know that the voltage change in this one and the voltage change in this one, the total is going to be 12. But we don't know how much is in which one. That being the case, let's first find what the current is going to be. So, so we know the total voltage is going to be 12 over here. And the resistance is going to be 24. So that means we should know that the current is equal to 0.5 amps. Because 0.5 times 24 is equal to 12 volts. Now, if we know that the current here is equal to 0.5, we can find what the change in voltage is here. 0.5 times 10 equals 5 volts. Okay, so we get the voltage change is going to be equal to 5 volts. And then we would know that this one is equal to 7 volts because we know the total should equal 12. Okay? Bum, bum, bum. All right, thanks for watching.